and welcome to the House of Pearl podcast, episode 17. My name is Allison. I'm Erin. And today is Wednesday, August 31st. I'm always, I never know what to say at this point. We have some new stuff to show, so that's exciting. Um, (laughs) Not me. You have a little bit more. A little bit, yeah. That's okay. You got stuff going, so you're good. (laughs) Okay, let's just jump right in. I have so many socks, it's bad. Um, I have a lot of socks. I don't have anything. Okay, so first up, which is funny, I cannot for the life of me find them. I have no idea where these socks went, which is weird. Um, I finished these socks, you know? They were the like Laffy Taffy watermelon ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The second pair of those. No idea where they went. I don't know. They're just like gone, disappeared, gone. It's Sullivan. He probably took them. That's actually, (laughs) yes. (laughs) I should just tie him up and interrogate him. (laughs) That sucks. Next up, I have your Halloween socks. I'm so excited. I love those. They turned out so cute. Oh, I love those. They're so soft too. Oh, I'm gonna wear them to go get a pumpkin cream cold brew. Oh, perfect. Which started yesterday. So let's go. I just, I think I showed these off the last time, but like the way it lined up is just like, these heels are so pretty. Love it. They're so pretty. So Erin's Halloween socks, done. Um, And then I have one more pair. (laughs) I have Justin's socks that I think are called like Gecko Meadow. And these ones are also the same base as yours. So they're super soft. The only thing is I'm like, I tried so hard. I don't know why all of a sudden I like can't knit to save my life. It's really weird. One of them's like a little bit shorter than the other. And I tried so many times to like, I was being like uptight about it. Cause I don't know. And then maybe so I was trying so hard. And then I did I the worst. Like, you were like but, stressed. So you were knitting tighter. I don't know. But I like kept checking to make sure. Cause I was like, I don't want them to be different sizes. And then I knit like the worst heel of my life the other day. Um. Anyway, it's fine. You're welcome, Justin. <laughs> And I was looking on Ravelry and found um, Christmas ornament soft patterns. Oh. So I did a miniature version of Stop. the socks. Cause I was like, I'm so socks cute. Away, and like, I don't like get to look at them. Oh so God. I've decided dogs. I'm gonna do just little Christmas That's socks. so cute. Yeah, yeah. So that I can have a pair. I mean, I can have one of all the ones that I do. That's so cute. It's really fiddly to do because it's tiny, but yeah, it goes really fast. So and it's adorable. Oh my god, <laughs> you're gonna have a Christmas tree when you're older. That's just socks, like tiny little socks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them, but at least I'll have them because mm-hmm. I'll just make it after I finish the pair of socks. So yeah, I think that's so cute. So that is all the socks that I have done. And I actually don't have any socks in progress currently because I finished this this morning. Wow. I finished shocked. them last night and then this morning, so. It's so cute. I can't get over it. Do you want to go with your stuff? Your I will gladly. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to look the same as the last time. That's OK. That's OK. So here's my sock. Um, I started have, the heel though. I have started the heel. I have started the heel. I am two rows into the heel. So. <laughs> hey, you're making progress though. So. I am. I took a little break because I, while reading the pattern, got confused, but I have figured that out now. Oh, okay, good. Hopefully I will be able to get farther along for the next podcast. Yeah, because if you don't, I'm pretty sure you're fired. <laughs> okay. Sorry. All our followers are disappointed in me. <laughs> it's like, okay, am I forcing Erin into this hobby? Like, I felt, I don't know. I just every once in a while stop and think, like, am I a stage Twitter, mom? Twitter is going to blow up with, work harder, Erin. But they're looking good. Who wants to work these days? Seems like no one wants to knit these days. <laughs> so, yay, you've got your sock going along. And the heel is a tricky part, so. Yeah. Yeah, so. Once you get that done. Nice to me. I am. I am. Well, I'm telling you to quit. (laughs) 
you don't have a blanket spur going or anything, do you? No. Well, I don't because the one that I need to do is really confusing. So I should probably bring that to you. Okay. okay. Yeah. So do you have other ones that you can go on to? That's the last one that I have. So do you want any more? Yeah. I okay. Will I will bring you some more then. Okay. Perfect. I have a sweater that I'm working on. Oh, I think you should leave it at that. It's kind of cute. It is actually very cropped. That's really cute. It's done at the bottom. Oh, is it? Then, yeah. That's so cute. So I have bound off these stitches and now all I need to do is the, um, the scallops on the bottom. Oh my God, that's so and cute. And then I do the sleeves. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do three quarters length or full length. Mm. And then I do, I cut it and I do the button band. All right. It's so cute. It looks looking so good. Right? I love that right? color. I love it too. It's a lot more like spotty tweety than I was expecting it to but be. I, I like that. I like that. Yeah. It's cool. Kind of itchy. <laughs> I won't be stealing it then. <laughs> so maybe if I block it, it'll soften up a little bit. But um, I can put some like conditioner on it. <laughs> yes. You put conditioner on it and that softens it up. Very, very excited about that. I told myself, cause I have to start my honeymoon sweater. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'll finish this. Why? I don't know. Get it done. And I'll swatch for that. Cause I'm still not sure about these colors together. Mm, yeah. Then I can, once I'm done with this cardigan, then I'm going to focus on Cyrus's sweater and my honeymoon sweater. Cause I haven't done anything on Cyrus's sweater. So I'm back into sweater knitting though. Woo! You're about to start. I, yeah. <laughs> I promise it'll be easy. Yeah, no, I know. It's just funny because I've had, I'm always like, oh, I'm going to start it. I'm going to start it. And then. It's you know. kind of daunting to start when you. It's so scary to start. Starting it off. is daunting. There's a lot yeah. of like work that goes into it ahead of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But once you get nervous. going, it'll, there'll be some shaping and then it'll just be stacking it round and round and round. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. True, true. Yeah. yeah. Really quickly, I wanted to show off the yarn I bought. Oh yeah. Um, I bought two pairs, two pairs of socks. I bought two things. It's going to become two pairs of socks. Uh, this one is called Outlander it's by Woolen Vine Yarn. And I have re resisted buying her yarn before just because like everyone buys her yarn and you have to like do Basic. her update and no I mean it's just like it's pressure like you got to know ahead of time mm -hmm. what you want. yeah <laughs> and like it's expensive because it's hand-dyed mm -hmm. yarn so so she was like oh I dyed this this week so this will be up in the shop on Saturday and I was like I really like that yarn like mm -hmm. I have looked at it for a couple years now so like I should I should just get it and I was talking to Jacob I was like I'm thinking about getting this yarn and he was like just get it and then he was like do you need only one do you need two and I was like I only need one and he's like okay um is there another color that you would want to make socks out of I don't know so he picked out this color for himself uh which is called moon cusser i don't know it's actually it's super pretty though it's, it's just really like pretty. purple with like some gold in it and there's a little bit of blue it's really pretty but i opened it up and i looked at them and i went oh jacob's gonna want this one yeah so i sacrificed i'm gonna knit socks for him out of this and then i got kind of sad because i was like these were gonna be my fall socks. And mm -hmm. I was like, I just finished making Aaron's fall socks and I really liked that. And then I gave these to Jacob and I was like, I should just buy some more. <laughs> so I got yarn called Hocus That Pocus. That's like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I found it on Etsy. It was late one night and I was like, add to cart, check out. Uh, and it is black with like flashes of like orange and some bright purple, so. That's going to be my Halloween socks this year. I'm so excited to see them. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's coming up. I bought, okay. So I bought this yarn. Mom and I got it at that garage sale mm -hmm. and it's like a really pumpkin orangey color and we bought it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a sweater out of it? Yeah. Why not? Okay. 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 Cause there's also this Halloween jack-o'-lantern cutout sweater. I was going to say, can you put a jack-o'-lantern in it? Okay. It's so cute. Thank it's you. so cute. Thank I was you. like, uh, that would look really cute with it. I was like, so. can you put a pumpkin in the middle? Yeah. So it's a jack. I'll have to send you the pattern. It's just like the cutout. It like has holes in it. That's where, for holes? Lace holes. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's like little lace eyelets that make the okay. jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Then I'll do that for you. Yay! I'd wear that. <laughs> I, think that one's, 
I think that one's pretty easy though, because it's just like a basic sweater and then it's like little eyelets. So yeah. Cool. I'm excited. Okay, good. I'm gonna have so much Halloween knitting. It's gonna be so good. I've been in like such the Halloween mood this year. Usually I'm like October is pumpkin time. Yeah. You know? Like wait. And now I'm like deep in it in August. So <laughs> that's okay, you're preparing. I'm so excited. I have three types of Halloween cookies in the freezer currently. So <laughs> I have the Halloween Oreos. Wait, course. are the Oreos out already? I was literally the first time I saw them. So I grabbed them and threw them into the cart. Because I was like, yeah. these are going to go in the freezer. Yeah. And then at Vaughn's, they had both the ghosts and the pumpkin ones. Ugh. So I just threw them in. So yeah, I think that is it. Yeah. That's all from us for now. Thanks for watching. Wow.